Good day. Welcome to King Williams Everything. Today I'm going to start part one of a two-part series of installing a real-time clock on your Raspberry Pi 3. Uh, I've looked around on the internet and I, I've seen a couple YouTube videos uh, how to do this and uh, some online just uh, walkthroughs and I never really found one that was really clear and to make this work properly. And so I want to just kind of go through because um, you hate to put something like this in and then you're not sure if it really is working. And it's kind of confusing how you configure this because uh, what the Raspberry Pi has is it has kind of like a fake clock in it, so it doesn't really have a hardware clock like your PC, the BIOS keeps time and stuff like that. This basically what it does when it boots up, <coughs> connects to the internet, and that's where it gets the time. So if you're out in an area where there's no internet, say like this is, you take this, you're using it like, like a desktop, you take it somewhere, you plug it in, and it's going to boot up, you know, you're not Ethernet, and you don't have the wireless configured, you're going to have the wrong time. And, and so you want to always have the, the right time, especially if you're using this for a project out on a remote area or say you lose the internet for some reason and something happens and it's like writing out some uh, log files uh, you don't want to be going you know, seeing looking at it says hey it's January 2nd 1970 2 o'clock well not even close we want to have this always have the right time and so what you do is you go out and, and go look on the internet uh, eBay look for DS3231 a DS3231 uh, real-time clock and it's just a small little module I got two of them here and what it does, it plugs into uh, the GPIO pins. Let me get this off here on your Raspberry Pi. So what you're going to do is you're going to use the first uh, five pins on here, uh, and it's actually uses uh, the 3.3 volt. This is actually a 3.3 volt and uh, five volt. It goes the other way, but this, this is the 3.3 volt uh, pin that we're going to be using to make this work. And it's just a DS3231 uh, chip. Not much to it. A resistor, some other. I can't tell what the component is and just a little battery on the back. So it's pretty simple, but the chip is what does the magic. But unfortunately, if you just plug this in, it doesn't work. You have to configure it. You would think uh, some of the operating systems would they'd maybe put that in there, like a, a, you know you plug in your keyboard, it automatically detects it and configures it. Well, it doesn't do that in this way, so probably because they're assuming you're using the, the fake clock. Yeah, but it, it's very simple to do. What you do is you use the first few pins on this side. So the one by the display port and your CPU, this has the uh, heat sink on it, but you're going to use the inside pins. So like I said, if, you, if you're using a, a hat already on here, uh, it's probably not going to work unless you have a hat that has the pins passed through. But what's nice about these guys, um, they're short enough that it just just a little bit taller than the pins, plop it on there, you can still put your cover on. And so what you do is you take the inner row, the first four pins, five pins, and plop it on there. Really simple. Let's see. Get on um, Mr. Pins, and voila, and I got one already on here. But uh, like I said, unfortunately, just doing that, it's not going to work at all. You have to configure it. So that's what we're going to do in part two. We're going to kind of show you how to get that working and verify that it is working. And, and like I said, the main the main reason for this is we want to have the correct time all the time. And that's what we're going to cover in part two. So anyway. Uh, this that's just kind of brief overview. This is the simple part: jam it in the slot or on the pins. Gold. Unfortunately, doesn't work. So anyway, until part two, have a wonderful day.